Chapter 505, Benefiting from Disaster If the meridians of an ordinary individual were like a trickling brook, then under the cleansing of inner chi, the meridians of a martial arts expert would be like an uninterrupted stream. Ling Tian's meridians were originally in such a state, but after this incident they had transformed completely. If the meridians of other experts were like a small pond, his would be like a lake. If the meridians of other experts were like a stream, then his meridians were akin to a vast river. It was impossible to predict just what would happen when Ling Tian cultivated with such broad meridians. From the ancient times until now, not a single expert had achieved such broad meridians. None apart from Ling Tian. The breadth of Ling Tian's meridians had even left the number one expert in the world today, Justice, in the dust completely. Without this incident, it was impossible for Ling Tian to achieve such a realm. After all, no martial arts cultivator would be crazy enough to pay the price of his whole body almost exploding to make a gamble on the one in a million chance. The way Justice saw it, Ling Tian was a lucky BSD road who coincidentally met with such a fortuitous encounter and had ascended to the heavens in a single step. This made Justice who had cultivated bitterly for a few decades before achieving his current height, feel a sense of grievance in his heart. Isn't it far too easy for Ling Tian? This is no different from benefits falling down from the heavens and right into Ling Tian's lap. Even if he had a celestial guarding him in the dark, things can't be so simple right? Where is the justice? Currently, Ling Tian was like a priceless treasure to justice. Justice wanted to see what martial arts heights a person with such broad meridians would be able to reach. Could Ling Tian reach his own realm or even overtake him? Furthermore, just what was that miraculous phenomenon that happened to Ling Tian? Just what had happened to the Heaven's Heart Jade pendants that the Shui and Yu family had been fighting over for a thousand years? What happened to the Heaven Splitter that was rumored to allow one to rule over the world? As someone who belonged to Beyond Heavens who had safeguarded the continent for a thousand years, how could Justice let go of this opportunity in front of him? Ling Tian was obviously an important piece of the puzzle. Currently, not to mention a single martial order medallion, even if there was a mountain of martial order medallions, Justice would never kill Ling Tian. Besides that, Ling Tian who had his meridians greatly widened had also become the person who had the highest possibility to ascend the peak of martial arts. Ling Tian was also the only person who Justice had truly acknowledged. When Ling Tian woke up again, the first sight upon opening his eyes was Zhou Yan Zhu's love-filled gaze. Seeing Ling Tian waking up, Zhou Yan Zhu's face was immediately filled with a heartfelt and sincere smile but her eyes began to well up with tears. After looking at Ling Tian for a moment, she actually began wailing. During the time when Ling Tian was unconscious, it was akin to an unbearable torture to Zhou Yan Zhu. At the same time, no matter how much pain she felt, she would force herself to stay awake to keep watch on Ling Tian. Every time she saw Ling Tian's unconscious appearance and the wounds all over his body, Zhou Yan Zhu felt an intense pain in her chest as though it was about to explode and she hated the fact that she could not replace Ling Tian being the one unconscious. Upon seeing Ling Tian finally regaining consciousness, Zhou Yan Zhu could not help but shed tears of joy. Ling Tian blinked his eyes and saw how frail Zhou Yan Zhu had become after worrying about him for the past few days. Her hair was also in a complete mess, and she no longer had the look of the arrogant talented fortune deity of the Zhou family. But at this moment, Ling Tian had a strange feeling in his heart. After knowing Zhou Yan Zhu for such a long time, her present appearance was the most beautiful and amiable. Despite looking extremely frail, she also had an allure capable of enticing all men in the world. He could not help but let out a smile as he raised his hands with difficulty and stroked Zhou Yan Zhu's drooping hair. With a smile he said, Little cat, don't cry. You won't be cute if you continue crying. Zhou Yan Zhu did not respond to Ling Tian's attempt to tease her as she said with her body trembling, I want to cry. I want to cry. Woo you. You almost scared me to death. 
The wounds all over your body scared me to death. What would I do if anything untoward happened to you? You have really frightened me to death. Zhou Yanzu kept repeating how she was scared to death and said those words while crying and smiling at the same time, looking as though she was truly frightened by what had happened. After he had spoken those words, Ling Tian suddenly realized that the heavily injured him could already speak properly. While his voice was still soft, it was undeniably clear and the burning pain in his throat had also disappeared. The bone-shattering pain all over his body and soul-burning pain in his consciousness had also disappeared. Apart from a slight stinging pain in his wounds and a feeling of numbness, he did not feel anything else. Even the condition of his meridians was far better and without any problems. He had suffered from extremely heavy injuries a few days ago with all of his meridians and organs heavily injured. Not only that, but he also had external wounds all over his body and not a single piece of complete skin could be seen from his neck down. However, he had actually recovered so quickly. Ling Tian could not help but be dumbfounded. Hearing Zhou Yan Zhu's weeping sound, he knew that this lass must have been greatly frightened over the past few days and could not help but be filled with pity. Gently stroking her hair, Ling Tian comforted Zhou Yan Zhu without saying a single word. It wasn't that Ling Tian was far too weak to even speak but his attention was focused on circulating his inner qi. After a round of circulation, Ling Tian realized that the meridians in his body had been completely transformed. While his meridians were still like uneven ground with many parts even cracking up and needed to be properly cared for, his meridians were widened by at least twice. This was an unbelievable miracle. While it was still dangerous for Ling Tian to circulate all of his inner qi through his meridians currently, after his meridians healed up, they would definitely be far tougher. The internal injuries that Ling Tian had been the most worried about weren't as serious as he had expected. Ling Tian was naturally overjoyed. The many things that had happened to Ling Tian were undoubtedly considered second to none. He started cultivating ever since he was in his mother's womb and had used the pure Xian Tian Qi in the womb to cultivate a top-grade cultivation manual. At the same time, the cultivation manual that he cultivated was from his previous life, and it was definitely the purest and best quality cultivation manual. On top of that, Ling Tian also carried with him the knowledge from his previous life and after his body was washed with pure Xian Tian Qi, he was naturally far superior to an ordinary person with his cultivation far ahead of his peers. Thus, Ling Tian was able to achieve such a martial arts height despite his young age and was even capable of escaping from the hands of a peerless expert like Justice. All of Ling Tian's accomplishment was a result of his many fortuitous encounters. However, nothing in the world would be complete, and his shocking improvement would definitely slow down or even stop at a certain point. It was probably because the human body could only grow step by step and his prenatal advantages would not exist forever. While Ling Tian consumed a trop grade elixir like the great cyclic pellet and his cultivation had taken a huge step forward, the bulk of the medicinal effect was not truly absorbed by Ling Tian to make his own. Thus, Ling Tian decided to make use of that opportunity to attack the ninth level of his divine shocking dragon formula. While he had succeeded in his attempt, it was undeniably a fluke. Not too long later, Ling Tian comprehended being one with the world and had gained the true divine shocking dragon formula from Li Zhu. While Ling Tian's cultivation seemed to have taken another step forward, he didn't know that this improvement of his was actually extremely damaging. After his multiple rapid increases in his inner qi, the amount of inner qi in Ling Tian's body had already exceeded the capacity of Ling Tian's meridians. Furthermore, even if his body had been tempered to the extreme by the divine shocking dragon formula, the meridians of his body were only akin to a small pond. With the sudden addition of the unending flow of water from a large river, it was already filled to the brim but was still continuously filled up. The hidden dangers of that could be easily imagined. Thus. While this incident seemed to be extremely dangerous, it had actually saved Ling Tian's life. 
Ling Tian's original injuries were extremely severe, but Justice who had wanted to kill Ling Tian had actually given aid at this moment. The number one expert in the world was actually a grandmaster physician as well. Despite Ling Tian's injuries seeming extremely serious, it wasn't much to this grandmaster physician. Just as the saying goes fortune is accompanied by misfortune and misfortune hides within fortuitous encounters. Just who would be able to fully understand the profound meaning behind those words? After the huge transformation, if Ling Yan's original meridians were like a broad and open road that had plenty of vehicles on it with an accident possibly happening at any time, Ling Yan's current meridians were akin to a highway without any risks. It would be difficult for any accidents to happen. Of course, this highway currently did not have any cars on it, but with such a safe highway, was there a need to worry about the lack of cars? Ling Tian naturally understood what this transformation signified. His cultivation speed would definitely be doubled after today. At the same time, his speed would also be doubled during a fight. The most important benefit was the fact that there wouldn't be many barriers in his future cultivation. A moment of pain brought him such endless benefits and it was just unimaginable. Ling Tian began to grow excited. If his current speed were to double, just what would that mean? Thinking about that possibility, Ling Tian had the urge to let out a loud roar of excitement. With his current condition, while his inner qi was dried up, he only needed to meditate silently and absorb the qi of the world. In less than three days, he would be able to regain the internal cycle of his inner qi. As for his external injuries, while they were serious, as long as his bones weren't broken Ling Tian wouldn't be bothered by a mere rupture of his skin. Ling Tian was truly overjoyed and could not help but laugh out loud. The moment the muscles on his stomach moved, he felt a wave of soreness and itch in his stomach. Ling Tian knew that Justice's treatment method was truly amazing and a portion of his injuries had already begun to form a scab. However, he still could not help but let out a bitter laugh. While his injuries couldn't be considered much, the pain and itch he felt would still be pretty torturous. The folds of the tent were lifted and a green-robed man stood in front of Ling Tian. Are you awake? How do you feel? Do you feel good? Young noble Ling Tian who is in his birthday suit. Ling Tian rolled his eyes and chuckled, I sense a tinge of sourness. Justice, you should know of my circumstances and are you jealous of me? You must be extremely envious right? Justice's face turned dark, Ling Tian, don't act so snotty after receiving such a huge benefit. If this seat's mood isn't good, I will take back the life that I saved. Ling Yan burst out laughing as his eyes cunningly narrowed. Do you mean that you do not wish to kill me right now? Chapter 506, Justice's Question Justice coldly snorted as he replied, this seat has never raised a hand against someone defenseless and has never obtained a victory from an unfair fight. However, even if I were to wait until you have fully recovered, do you think you still can run from me? Ling Tian smiled, four months ago, the entire world thought that I would die without a doubt, but I'm still alive even now. He narrowed his eyes towards justice instead. In contrast, there's someone who actually almost lost his life due to a bunch of shrimps. Contrary to Ling Tian's expectation, Justice burst out into laughter, the coldness on his face melting like glaciers in spring. His smile seemed to hide some deep intent as he shook his head at Ling Tian, letting out a smile. Speaking of the previous time, I do have a question for you. After I was injured, why didn't you bring your little girlfriend and chase after me instead? If you chased along to kill me at that time, don't you think that you would have gotten a decent chance? A ray of light flashed past Ling Tian's eyes, how could I not have thought of it? It was practically a godsend opportunity. When I arrived at the scene, I concluded that while it was your victory, you must have gotten injured, and based on my experience crossing swords with you, that period of time should have been your weakest. If I were to work together with Li Zhu, which was the girl you saw that time, I would have at least a 60% chance of sentencing you to death. Oh? 
Then why did you not go for it in the end? In the end, I wasn't too far away from you guys, if you really wanted to find me, it wouldn't have been too difficult. Justice replied with curiosity. However, Ling Tian grinned in response, there are three reasons. The first, no matter from what standpoint you look at it, you indeed had given me time to prepare at the start, and we had also made a gentleman's agreement. If I had taken advantage of you while you were weak, my mental state would probably suffer and decrease as a result. It's something that I disdain. Justice laughed, what about the other two? Secondly, based on my calculations, even if we could really kill you by joining hands, we would still receive severe injuries or even die under your retaliation. This result is not one which I can accept. The danger involved is the same as being hunted by you. And the last reason? Justice continued. The last reason is that you are in the end the top expert in the world. Someone like you who understands and embraces loneliness is few and between, and I'd rather gamble on the chance that I can survive than to kill you. A pity that I lost the agreement in the end. Ling Tian's tone suddenly carried a hint of sadness. Understands and embraces loneliness? Well said, you're indeed the person who knows me best. A pity that I'm not the one who understands you the most. I've wasted so much time waiting for you. Justice sighed as he shook his head, appearing downcast. He seemed to be unsatisfied that Ling Tian did not take the chance to go after him and silence him. Ling Tian started, and a thought surfaced in his head as he blurted out, so the last time you went head on with the above heavens people. That was on purpose? He spoke in a suspicious voice, but he was sure of this question in his heart. Alongside this certainty was an additional few points of fear. Justice stared interestedly at Ling Tian as he slowly spoke, Oh? Why would I do that on purpose? Ling Tian snorted, calmed himself down as he rolled his eyes, because you want to die. Justice burst into laughter, clapping his hands and looking overjoyed, that's right. This seed has tried every dangerous steed in the world, and there's only one thing left that I have yet to taste. Ling Tian jeered, I know. You haven't died yet. And he sniggered before continuing, don't always think that you are omnipotent and treat everyone as fools. At your level of martial arts, how would it be easy to suddenly promote once again? Just relying on meditation would take you more than 100 years alone. Justice laughed out loud, before asking, then how should I break through? Ling Tian snorted, don't you already know the answer? That's death. Only by throwing yourself into the brink of death, infinitely close to the gates of death, that you will have the motivation and driving force. And only then will you feel pressured to perform a breakthrough. Furthermore, you did not even place your hopes on those people in above heavens, but rather you were hoping for Li Zhu and me to do the job instead. Only when we join hands to go against an injured you will there really be a danger to your life, am I right? I estimate that. Even after so many rounds of clashing against you, you have not fully activated all your strength, and thus you're confident that even if the two of us were pitted against you, you would still be able to handle it. One side receiving the threat of death and the other properly enjoying a battle. You would even be able to meet your objective of killing me. He gazed at justice with a hint of sarcasm, but your calculations all went her eye, right? Having fought pointlessly with them. And because you were controlling your strength, you already had victory in your grasp, thus there would be no epiphanies in the middle of battle. In the end, you even lost the opportunity to pursue and kill us. Your perfect plan for killing three birds with one stone was totally destroyed. For the first time, Justice's face reddened, and he could only manage with a long sigh as he replied, You're indeed the person who knows me best to be able to so clearly understand my complete calculation and plans. In the many times I've exchanged blows with you, I've at most utilized 70% of my total strength, or else, how would I have enough strength to retaliate to your innumerable dirty tricks? However, you've guessed a point wrongly. Justice calmly stared at Ling Yan as he muttered, that time, I had really gotten myself seriously injured. 
If my injuries were not serious enough, how could I even attempt to fool you to proceed to try and kill me? But to think that you did not even bite the bait. How disappointing. Ling Tian could feel his scalp tingle. To think that Justice's intelligence would be on par with his martial capabilities. If Li Zhu and himself had really overestimated their capabilities and attempted to rush over to kill Justice, that would totally be digging their own graves. Thankfully, his own conscience forbade him from doing such a despicable method. What a narrow escape. Ling Tian might have been alarmed in his heart, yet he showed no inclination of any sort on his face as he lightly smiled, as such, you waited here, all to ask me what exactly was my thoughts on death at that moment when I was all prepared to die? As well as what sort of realization I've had? Justice's eyes lit up, but he remained calm as he uttered, this is one of my motives. You guessed correctly indeed, would you care to tell me about it? Ling Yan burst out in laughter at his honesty. Actually, this is no secret. It's more of the fact that your way of thinking is flawed. Even if I were to tell you everything, recounting my incident in minute detail, you would only perceive it as a fascinating story, without the slightest bit of epiphany. I find it hard to believe that you, the martial order medallion owner of Beyond Heavens, could actually make such an elementary mistake. Justice only sized him up coldly, before groaning in a voice full of helplessness, you're actually right. Truthfully, how could I be unaware of this? It's just that other than this method, what sort of choice do I still have? In this present time and age, who can stop me from walking where I want? Even if you, Ling Tian, join hands with all the experts from the Yuan Zhou families, encircling me to kill me, I would still be able to walk out free and unhindered, and you guys can't do a thing to stop me. It would be out of the question. Under such circumstances, what more talk about the epiphany one can obtain by treading the line between life and death? The last time, I constructed my own injury in hopes that I would experience an assassination, but I was still disappointed in the end. Ling Tian laughed so hard, that even his tears flowed out. Even when his wounds started to ache from the exhaustion, he still could not stop. That's right. With the ability to retreat still firmly grasped in your hands, there's no person or influence that can throw you the death sentence. Even if there were assassins, the whole process would be orchestrated by you, and you would still have the confidence to escape with your life. With such a case, how could you comprehend life and death and break through? Ha ha ha. Who told you to drain to such a profound level? Ha ha ha. Seems like being too strong is also nothing good because you can't even die if you want to. Ha ha. This is too funny. Justice glared at Ling Tian, what's so funny about it? With your current capability and aptitude, coupled with your outstanding luck, there will come a day when you will reach the same stage as I am currently. At that time, you'll naturally understand what sort of feeling that is, and even if you want to cry, you will not have the chance. To think you still dare to laugh right now. No no no. You're wrong in this. Ling Tian squeezed the words out amidst his laughter. Even if I reach such a stage, I won't be so frustrated. This is because I still have many things to do, many objectives to pursue other than martial arts in this world. As such. I will definitely not be as lonely as you, and would not get caught up in your predicament. However, it is different for your case, as your entire life revolves around martial arts, and you have no desires in the mortal world other than to reach the pinnacle of martial arts. The joys and sorrows of the world are all but passing clouds and dust in your eyes, without a trace of meaning, thus you are suffering now. Nonsense, I'm well versed in a hundred schools of thought and together with medicine and divination, as well as astrology, not one am I lacking, not one am I mediocre in. I can improve the lives of the masses and calculate the myriad changes in the world, but all of them are different from martial arts, as they have no limit to which they can be mastered. Thus, my greatest wish in life is actually to witness the utmost limit of martial arts. Just as angrily retorted. Ling Tian choked inwardly. Was this guy still human? 
He actually mastered all the hundred schools of thought, and was even a peerless doctor well versed in medicine. How excessive! Even though Ling Tian was groaning in admiration inside, he argued back immediately, you might be erudite, and a great scholar at that, mastering all miscellaneous studies, but it doesn't mean that you're not lonely. Just like what you mentioned, in the end you only have one objective, which is to achieve the peak of martial arts. As such, this is why you'll still be lonely in the end. Justice fell into silence for a long time, and it was at this time, that his body naturally let out an aura of loneliness and indifference. At this point, Zhou Yanzu secretly crept over, carrying a hollow bamboo pipe in one hand as she helped Ling Tian up to feed him some water. Ling Yan's eyes revealed a hint of praise and satisfaction. A lady was one who knew when to enter and exit, when to get attention and when to remain silent. If you were a woman who only knew how to flaunt and flirt for attention at all costs regardless of the circumstances, then if it was done often, no matter how pretty or how charming you were, in a man's eyes your position would be of the utmost lowest, inciting their hate. As for Zhou Yan Zhu, she was flawless in the aspect of being a lady. Chapter 507, Way of the Snail A long while later, Justice raised his head and said in a low voice, Could it be that it is impossible for me to break this final wall of the martial way? Am I truly not fated with the peak of the martial way? The final step? Ling Yang laughed, Justice, do you know what is the final step? Do you truly think that you are already at a realm where there is only a final step left? No no no, Ling Tian shook his head, you are still lacking. Oh? Justice's eyes lit up don't tell me you know? Ling Tian's eyes narrowed in a mischievous manner as he said with a smile, of course I do not know either. Justice began to flare up, then are you trying to joke with me? Don't think that I cannot do anything to you just because you are injured. Is your bum itching? Ling Tian's face immediately froze up, and he did not dare to say a single word of retort. After all, being spanked by a man is an extremely humiliating matter. Yesterday was the only exception but if it were to happen today, an irreconcilable hatred would definitely be formed between the both of them. Ling Tian then replied slowly, I can only tell you this. On the martial way, no matter what heights you reach and even if you are the first since the ancient times, it would definitely not be the last step. Ling Tian smiled warmly with his eyes shining, the martial way does not have a final step. The martial way does not have a final step. Justice repeated those words under his breath, and a perplexed look could be seen in his face, could it be that I have been chasing after something that doesn't exist for so many years? Ling Tian forcefully propped his body up and felt an aching pain all over his body. Looking at Justice, he said seriously, since you can't understand that, then let me ask you. Even if there is an end to the martial way, what would you want to do when you are there? What can you do? Bang! Justice seemed to have been whacked in the head by a baseball bat and his body began swaying. That's right, just what is the reason for me to chase after the peak of the martial way? Even if I can reach the peak, just what should I do? Justice's body began swaying, and his countenance was completely pale. All of a sudden, it turned into a faint gold color and he looked at Ling Tian with a deranged and malevolent look. Ling Tian was startled in his heart. If he were to truly drive Justice crazy, he wouldn't be able to predict what Justice would do. He wouldn't be surprised if Justice chose to kill him on the spot. Thus, he hurriedly said, while there isn't an end to the martial way, every time you take a step, you will be able to prove your ability to break through your own limits. While I said that there isn't an end to the martial way, those words aren't completely correct either. If we were to only talk about the martial way, then we might truly be able to see an end. However, the final step of the martial way can also be considered to be the first step. Without any choice, Ling Tian could only change the topic to draw Justice's attention. Justice was flabbergasted as he asked, What do you mean by that? Despite being the number one expert in the world, he was truly interested in what Ling Tian had just said. 
Ling Tian replied in a low and mysterious tone, Justice, have you heard of the heavenly way? Heavenly way? Justice repeated those words under his breath and looked at Ling Tian with a burning gaze, Heavenly way? Ling Tian grumbled bitterly in his heart as he continued on, The final step of the martial way is just the first step of the heavenly way. Do you understand if I put it that way? When you are able to explore the secrets of the heavens and earth with your martial way, you would be near the final step of the martial way. However, no one knows just how one can reach such a step. Perhaps being one with the world can be considered to be the first step of the heavenly way but it is also no different from a single strand of the heavenly way. I see, Justice said with clear eyes, heavenly way? Just what kind of a realm is that? What is the point of talking about the heavenly way if we are unable to even reach the end of the martial way? Is being one with the world truly the start point for the heavenly way? Why have I not heard such a saying before? Ha ha ha! Ling Tian chuckled and the time which he had been waiting for had arrived, justice, in the eyes of the people in the world, your martial arts are already at the absolute peak. However, in this life of yours, even if you are able to make a breakthrough, you will never be able to reach the highest peak of the heavenly way realm. Ling Tian paused for a moment and asked, Do you know what is the peak? Justice rolled his eyes and had the urge to spank Ling Tian, the highest point is the peak. Wrong. Ling Tian said with a tone of absolute confidence, the so-called peak is just a place where no one else would be able to reach but you. By being able to reach a point where no one else is able to reach, it would turn into the peak. Just like how you are at the summit of the mountain but I am only at the waist of the mountain. However, if I ascend up to the summit one day, then the peak would also cease to exist. Ling Tian continued, there can be only a single person at the so-called peak. That is the true peak. The only reason why you are unable to make a breakthrough now is that there is no one that can be compared to you. If I am able to reach the same heights as you, you would find out that the place where you are standing at is just slightly above me and still far from the peak. That would also be the point where you will make a breakthrough. After you achieve a breakthrough, you would also find a new target and new heights. As long as there is someone chasing after you closely from behind, you would be able to ascend greater heights quickly. Ling Tian smiled profoundly, while there will always be someone who will reach the peak first, it is extremely important to have a companion along the journey. Without a companion, there will be no comparison. Without comparison, there will be no fighting spirit, and you would be unable to take a single step forward. Ling Tian's words were akin to saying, you need me and so you can never kill me. Apart from me, there is no one else capable of being your companion. That's right. Justice burst out laughing, no wonder. It is not that I am unable to achieve a breakthrough but that I do not have a target to achieve a breakthrough. Ling Tian smiled and said, there is a snail who is the fastest among all the snails. He had always been extremely proud of that until he met a tortoise and when he crawled onto the tortoise's back, he immediately felt his world view widen immensely. He realized that this tortoise was more than ten or a hundred times faster than him. Thus, he let out a gasp of admiration, this tortoise is truly fast. It is as fast as lightning. At this moment, Ling Tian actually began telling a story. A cold glare flashed past Justice's eyes but he did not interrupt Ling Tian and listened silently. Ling Tian chuckled and pointed at Justice before pointing at himself, You, me, Yu Man Lu, Yi King Chen and the rest are all like a bunch of snails with you being the fastest one. However, the heavenly way is like the tortoise. We need to wait for the opportunity to meet the turtle before we can understand the heavenly way. Ling Yan laughed, but apart from the turtle, there is still the mouse, rabbit, tiger, eagle. Do you understand what I am trying to say? Justice could not help but laugh as he felt Ling Tian's analogy to be pretty interesting, we are the bunch of snails that are cultivating the martial way. Ling Yan burst out laughing, that's right. We are the bunch of snails who cultivate the martial way. Ha ha ha. The two of them looked at each other and began bursting out into laughter. 
Justice had never laughed so heartily in his life before, and he laughed to the point tears almost flowed out of his eyes, it turns out that I am only the snail which is crawling the fastest? No. You are not the snail that is crawling the fastest. Ling Tian said seriously, you are only the snail that has crawled the furthest. I should be the snail that is crawling the fastest. Justice laughed even harder as though a problem which had been troubling him for a long time was finally solved. He squatted down and slapped his palms on the ground laughing in an almost maniacal level, completely devoid of the image of an expert. Zhou Yan Zhu stood outside the tent and upon hearing both Ling Tian and Justice laughing in such an odd manner, she could not help but peek into the tent with shock and doubt. Justice pointed at the peeking Zhou Yan Zhu while laughing, another snail. Ling Tian could not help but add on, this is a female snail. Then both of them continued laughing. Zhou Yan Zhu flew into a rage. She never expected that to be scolded as a snail just because she took a peek of concern. Her face flushed red as she stomped away while cursing, the two of you are the snails. Smelly snail. Darn snail. When a woman throws a tantrum, she wouldn't care if you are the number one expert in the world. Justice stood up laughing, took out a jade pendant from his embrace and threw it at Ling Tian. Ling Yan immediately recognized it as the Heaven's Heart Jade which Yu Bing Yan had given to him as a token of love. He then saw Justice taking off the Heaven Splitter and throwing it on the ground like it was no different from waste metal. Ling Yan glared, what are you doing? At the same time, he could not help but question in his heart if Justice was driven crazy by him. Justice smiled, you were originally dead for sure but something odd happened to this Jade Pendant. It formed a connection with my heaven splitter and the inner chi of your body, therefore saving your life. Since your fate is connected to this sword, what is the point of me keeping it? An oddity within the jade? Why didn't I know? Justice snorted, at that time, you were an unconscious snail and were naturally unaware. Ling Tian laughed bitterly. Justice smiled and said, I have already tried to study it with my inner chi but could not get a reaction. Your inner chi is probably the only thing capable of forming a connection with it. You can study it slowly, and I will make my move first. Where are you going? Ling Tian was startled, don't you want to kill me anymore? Don't forget that we have a half year agreement. While I said that I lost previously, I have not admitted defeat yet. Justice let out a carefree smile, these two jade pendants and this heaven splitter are rumored to allow one to rule over the world. But in my eyes, they are no different from lousy rocks and metals. As for the world and commoners, ha ha ha. What have they got to do with me? If it is your fate, then it should belong to you. You can do as you wish. As for killing you, why should I kill you? Ling Tian could not help but look at Justice with bewilderment. Why did Justice look as though he had achieved an enlightened state and has detached himself from worldly affairs? He then asked, are you going to ignore the request of the Martial Order Medallion? Chapter 508, Giving Heaven Splitter Justice burst out laughing, Martial Order Medallion? What Martial Order Medallion? Ling Tian was speechless. Justice laughed even harder, Ling Tian? Even without the martial order medallion, I will find you for a fight when I feel like it. He then suddenly glared at Ling Tian fiercely. If you are unable to accompany me up the tortoises back five years from now, I will really kill you. Someone who is unable to walk by my side isn't worthy to be alive. Ling Tian rolled his eyes and grumbled, so it turns out that the death penalty still exists but has only been delayed. Tell Yi King Chen that I will have nothing to do with Beyond Heavens from today onward. Tell them to also disperse themselves, there isn't a meaning for their existence. Justice then shot into the air with a bright laugh and disappeared from the tent. Only the violent flapping of the tent's flaps could be seen, and Ling Tian completely could not tell how Justice disappeared. Justice's voice then sounded from afar, I am going to find the tortoise and it is best that you climb faster. I will be at ease if the heaven splitter is by your side. 
I will be at ease if the heaven splitter is by your side. Ling Tian repeated under his breath and tried to understand what was the meaning behind those words. He then suddenly burst out laughing, gaining the world by gaining the heaven splitter? Ling Tian snorted, I wonder how these pig-headed people are thinking. Even if it is extremely sharp and can slice through a thousand armies with a single wave, so what about that? It is still a sword. If anyone were to believe that rumor and raise the banners of war because of this sword, he would definitely be ripped into shreds in less than 10 minutes. What a big joke. Zhou Yanzu could then be seen peeking into the tent again with doubt, why is he finding a tortoise? Why do you have to climb faster? Ling Tian looked at her for a moment before complaining while burying his head into the blanket. That fellow actually left a seriously wounded patient in the depths of the forest. How heartless. Zhou Yanzu could not help but be tickled, it is already a miracle that he didn't kill you. Did you expect him to become your bodyguard? Ling Tian chuckled, as long as he stays by my side for a few days, it wouldn't be impossible for me to dupe him into becoming my bodyguard. What a pity, what a pity. He then suddenly let out a neigh before saying, how fragrant. What's this smell? Ling Tian then took in a deep breath with a blanket near his nose and had a face full of intoxication. Zhou Yanzu's face turned red and was completely embarrassed. She had been using the blanket for the past few days, and the smell was naturally the fragrance of a young maiden. Looking at Ling Tian's look of enjoyment, she could not help but roll her eyes and growl, idiot. Ling Tian laughed out loud and winked his eyes in a sneaky manner. Zhou Yanzu covered her mouth and giggled beautifully. With justice gone, the death looming over Ling Yan's head had also disappeared, and Zhou Yanzu could finally be at ease. She suddenly felt as though the scenery around her was extremely enchanting and her mood was incomparably good. A day later, Ling Tian, whose injuries were largely recovered, leaned against a rock by the stream and carefully studied the jade pendant in his hand. His jet black hair was loose, and it was actually tied up in a fancy style which was naturally the doing of Miss Zhou Yanzu. When Miss Zhou was washing Ling Tian's hair, she realized that Ling Tian's hair was actually black, thin and extremely supple. She thus could not control herself from dolling him up. After Zhou Yanzu tied up Ling Tian's hair, she was blown away by her own work and praised that if Ling Tian put on a dress, he would definitely be able to capture the attention of the birds and beasts, have a beauty exceeding that of the natural world and capable of making anyone who saw him want to dote on him with pity. This exaggerated remark made Ling Tian not know whether to laugh or cry. While Ling Tian was a martial arts expert, the recovering him could not even beat a small, little child. He naturally fell into the hands of Miss Zhou and was subjected to her torture and enjoyment. When capture the attention of the birds and beasts and have a beauty exceeding that of the natural world is used to describe lady, it would naturally make one's imagination roam. But if it was used on a man, Ling Tian was certain that he would have to visit Korea for plastic surgery first before going to Thailand for another surgery. The jade was still in its original form and apart from its original form, what kind of a form was it supposed to be in? Ling Tian studied it under the light for a good long while but was still unable to see anything odd about it. In truth, ever since Xu Bing Yan and Xu Qian were handed the pieces of jade to him, Ling Tian had always kept it in his embrace but never taken a good look at it before. After studying it carefully now, he realized that Yu Bing Yan's heaven's heart jade was in the shape of half a leaf. Ling Tian could also remember that Shui Qianra's piece of jade was also in the same shape but forming the other half of the jade. Ling Tian casually picked up a rock and made a half leaf shape based on his memory. After placing both the jade pendant and rock side by side, it was obvious that both of the jade pieces should form a whole and will also form a heart shape. No wonder it's called the heaven's heart jade. It turns out that it really formed the shape of a heart. Ling Tian mumbled before laughing, however, only half of this heart is left. Thinking about this, Ling Tian thought about the black dot that fell out from the jade pendant that Yu Man Lu shattered. 
Upon reaching into his embrace to search for it, his expression could not help but change. That hexagonal-shaped black dot had actually disappeared. Could it be that it went missing when his inner chi went berserk back then? Ling Tian laughed out bitterly and thought to himself, since it has already been shattered, what is the point of keeping it? Letting out a self-mocking chuckle, he could not help but be filled with a tinge of disappointment. He then continued to study the jade pendant in his hand further and after a while, a thought suddenly flashed past his head and he slapped his head bitterly. Since Shui Qianra's jade had a small black dot within it, Yu Bing Yan's jade pendant should also have one. However, after exposing the jade pendant to the sun for a whole day, the whole jade pendant turned dark and was obviously an extremely pure piece of jade. Not to mention a black dot, there wasn't a single flaw within it. Besides that, how was it possible for a black dot to exist in such a pendant? Furthermore, that black dot wasn't small at all and if it could be easily seen, wouldn't it tarnish the jade pendant? While Ling Tian was completely clueless about the origins of this jade pendant, he knew that a jade with impurity definitely couldn't be considered top quality. Could it be that the black dot was only present in Shui Qianra's jade but not Yu Bing Yan's? He then suddenly remembered what Justice had said before leaving, I have already tried to study it with my inner chi but could not get a reaction. Your inner chi is probably the only thing capable of forming a connection with it. At that time, Ling Tian felt that the words Justice had said were extremely strange. How could the inner chi that he had painstakingly cultivated ever form a connection with a jade pendant? At the same time, Ling Tian began to curse Justice for not being clear with his words before leaving. While Ling Tian had the intention to input his inner chi into the jade pendant to take a look, he just could not make up his mind. A top-grade jade stone like this one usually has something special within it. If he were to input his inner chi into the jade pendant recklessly, it may be destroyed or even explode on the spot. In his previous life, he had read in the martial arts novels that experts enjoyed embedding their inner chi into jade swords to fight their opponents. Upon trying it himself, he found out that most jade stones would end up exploding if he wasn't careful. After trying it multiple times, Ling Tian was certain that it was no more than a writer's fantasy for inner chi being able to send out sword rays from a jade sword. However, Justice had clearly told him that his inner chi was able to form a connection with this jade pendant and this threw Ling Tian into a dilemma. Shui Qianra's jade pendant was something that he got by being a scoundrel and it wouldn't matter if it was destroyed. However, Yu Bing Yan's jade pendant was their official token of love. If it was really destroyed, that depressed lass will probably end up overthinking. Ling Tian let out a frustrated sigh and placed the jade pendant by the side. Currently, his inner chi was only half recovered, and while he was able to circulate his inner chi normally, he was still far from being able to control his inner chi as freely as he liked. It would be best for me to try it after my control over the inner chi has been fully regained. If something were to really go wrong, it would be bad if that lass ends up crying and wailing every day. The bulk of wounds on his body had already formed scabs, and Ling Tian could not help but admire Justice's treatment methods. His external wounds were recovering at a rapid rate but his internal injuries were healing slowly. The inner chi that Ling Tian had gathered over a day and night was slowly mending his meridians bit by bit. Only after his meridians were mended would his inner chi take a small step forward. Its speed was as slow as a snail, and even with Ling Tian's resolute willpower he could not help but grumble endlessly. But after each portion of his meridians were healed and Ling Tian used his inner vision to take a look at it, he would be filled with an immense sense of satisfaction. After Ling Tian had finally circulated his inner chi in a full cycle, Ling Tian was surprised to realize that the benefits he had gained this round were just as Justice had said and far exceeded his expectations. With a single thought and before Ling Tian's limbs could even react, his inner chi had already arrived at the designated point of attack and he could unleash it by just raising his hand. The speed at which his inner chi was gathered had rendered the already prepared Ling Tian dumbfounded. 
As his energy circulated throughout his meridians, a layer of black greasy and smelly substance also began oozing out from Ling Yan's skin. It was excreted from all parts of his body without a single inch of his skin being an exception. This made Zhou Yanzu who was in charge of helping him clean up wine incessantly and she had repeatedly cursed him for being a pig head throughout the whole day. Ling Yan bore the hardship with equanimity and when Zhou Yanzu came over to help him clean up, he would intentionally rub the greasy substance onto Zhou Yanzu causing her to scream in both shock and anger. Following that, Zhou Yanzu would then sneakily enter the mountain springs to take a bath after helping Ling Tian wash up. MMM, at that time, the still immobile young noble Ling would then be as fit as a fiddle and would unleash his top-notch movement techniques to follow stealthily behind Zhou Yanzu despite his pain. He would lay hidden nearby to admire the bathing beauty and become the legendary Peeping Tom. Er, in Zhou Yanzu's eyes. Young Noble Ling was naturally seriously injured and still completely immobile. Was he truly so despicable? Ling Tian would return with drool flowing down the corner of his lips and be delighted with himself for a full half a day with a wretched look plastered all over his face. Zhou Yanzu's figure was not just ordinarily good. Her supple chest, narrow waist and hourglass figure were just unforgettable. Especially her creamy white skin would make Ling Tian's saliva drip down subconsciously and he had the urge to turn into a wolf in the moonlight. Chapter 509, No Harm in Looking Narrowing his eyes, Ling Tian rested against the big rock, fantasizing about the feel of his hands roaming around Zhou Yanzu's bare skin. With a vulgar expression on his face and a long strand of drool hanging from his mouth, our young noble Ling lifted his head up. Zhou Yanzu walked over slowly, wiping her head of wet hair. In the lush greenery of the forest around them, it further amplified the glow and bearing of Zhou Yanzu's skin, causing the hearts of any who looked to be mesmerized. She crept behind Ling Tian, wanting to give him a good scare, but she suddenly found out that there was something wrong with his face, and with him muttering incessantly to himself, she could not help but feel curious. Tiptoeing to his side, she only saw Ling Tian with a lecherous expression, and a long line of drool coming out from his mouth, as though he was sleeping. Zhou Yanzu almost laughed out loud, Ling Tian's look totally resembled that of a starry-eyed infatuated fool. That's not right. Zhou Yanzu immediately woke up with a start. How? How could he be like this? Could it be? She immediately started to have doubts and suspicions. At this point, she suddenly heard Ling Tian murmur to himself, Pity, what a pity! His voice was thick with regret, full of melancholy, as well as frustration. Zhou Yanzu sidling up to him like a dream, before softly whispering, What pity! Lost in his fantasies, Ling Tian did not realize a thing and unconsciously replied, What a pity, such a white and big butt, but marred by small black birthmark. Black birthmark? Zhou Yanzu repeated with her head full of fog. Her gaze slowly shifted to her own buttocks, and she suddenly blushed a deep red, before letting out a piercing scream. The sound split the silence like how a hot knife cut through butter, and she immediately burst into a rage directed at Ling Tian, a ah, Ling Tian. You darned lecher, smelly pervert, disgusting rogue. Her elegant demeanor instantly transformed into that of a raging dinosaur, pouncing on Ling Tian with teeth bared. Her arms were like windmills as they pounded rapidly on Ling Tian, as though she had forgotten that he was grievously injured. Lost within his beautiful daydream, with a sunny smile on his face, Ling Tian in his dream had put out both his hands, squeezing the air as though he had grabbed onto something. In an instant, his fantasy was horribly shattered, and before he could process exactly what happened, he felt a few heavy blows land on him, 
making him scream out in misery. He opened his eyes, blearily yelling, Zhou Yanzu! What are you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Her face flushed red like a tomato in shame and anger. With a killing gaze, Zhou Yanzu replied, What did you say just now? What? What birthmark? Ah! Ling Tian was stunned speechless. He knew that his secret had been exposed and that he was in big trouble. Seeing that lass pouncing on him with claws outstretched and teeth bared, he could only curl up like a ball using his hands, spare me. Please. I thought you were unable to move because of your injuries? Even needing me to feed you water and food. So it turns out. It turns out. You BSD road. Jerk. Jerk. You lied to me, played with me, you. You. How could you treat me like this? How am I supposed to face anyone in the future? Do you still have a conscience? Woo woo? Woo woo? As Zhou Yanzu continued to hammer him, she felt all the more wronged, and suddenly stopped her actions, covering her face and bursting out into tears. Ling Tian was at a loss as to what to do, and could only stammer repeatedly, this. This. Um. He hemmed and hawed for half a day, but nothing proper could come out. For him who was most afraid of a lady crying, he was totally shocked stiff to the point his brain stopped processing. Seeing his expression, Zhou Yanzu began to cry even harder, You! You disgusting lecher! Woo wa woo! Ling Tian's eyes turned as he thought of something. Immediately, he berated loudly, Why are you crying for? What's so good about crying? Didn't I only take a look? It's not like you lost a piece of flesh. These last few days, didn't you see everything on my body, and even touched it? Did I even shed a tear? Really? Upon hearing his roguish tone, Zhou Yanzu began to tremble uncontrollably, and she gritted her teeth as she viciously spat, Ling Tian. You, say that again. How could you be like this? Did you think that I was willing to look at you, touch you? If not for the fact that you... I, I really misjudged you. Ling Tian sniggered suddenly as he replied, since it's something we were going to see sooner or later, what's the harm in looking right now? You've already seen mine, so there's no harm in me doing the same, unless... You don't want to let me see? You... Want to let someone else see? He winked a few times, suggestively saying... Go and die! Zhou Yanzu was filled with conflicting emotions of shame, happiness, anger. She immediately executed a flying kick, sending him flying into the river. With this sentence from Ling Tian, she knew that the person in her heart had finally accepted and acknowledged her, and could not help but feel a sense of sweetness. However, she was unwilling to get the short end of the stick, and pouted, but you shouldn't have lied to me. Saying that you couldn't move. Did you know how worried I was? As she spoke, her face reddened once again. If she knew that Ling Tian could move, with her conservative character, how would she be so brazen as to strip completely naked and jump into the nearby river to take a bath? The more she thought about it, the more she thought about how her entire process of bathing must have been seen completely by that lecher, and she could not help but feel her body grow hot with shame. Suddenly, she moaned in despair, collapsing weakly on the ground. She felt as though she could not face anyone in the future. Dripping wet, Ling Tian stood in the water, showing only his head as he giggled, since someone's going to be my wife sooner or later, what does it matter if I take a look now? He he he, actually, it's still really white, no need to worry. Zhou Yanzu was completely angered and begun to pick up any object she could find within reach to fling into the river, stones, rocks. Mud all flew towards Ling Tian, who let out a yelp and submerged himself completely at the bottom. His movements were quick and fluid, unlike someone who had been injured and could not even move. The more she threw, the angrier Zhou Yanzu got, to the point that she threw everything around her vicinity and began to look for more. She swore internally that she would only stop when that jerk's head was full of lumps. To a law came the splashing of water, 
as Ling Tian leaped out from the river and grabbed Zhou Yanzu in one go. In her anger, Zhou Yanzu immediately started to struggle. Ling Tian drew close to her ear, blowing inside, silly lass, how could I, Ling Tian, be that sort of despicable lecher to not take responsibility? If I had evil designs on you, then during this period of time, how many chances would I have gotten? I may not be a gentleman, but if it's not a lady that likes me, I will not even take a look at her. Since I've already gazed at you, then I'll take responsibility and make you my wife. He Zhou Yanzu snorted at this, angrily replying, Who's your wife? Don't be shameless. Ling Yan blinked, asking in confusion, You really don't want to let me look? All he received was a vicious reply, only ghosts would let you see their bodies. Scratching his head, he maintained the bewildered look as he slowly spoke, then. If you don't want to let me see, who do you want to show it to then? I want to. Zhou Yanzu started, before she realized that she had fallen into his trap once again. She could not help but beat him in anger, you're a baddie. Pig head. But you haven't replied me. Who do you want to show it to? Ling Yan unforgivingly stuck close to her, slowly breathing onto Zhou Yanzu's skin, causing it to heat up. Zhou Yanzu only sensed her body heating up, after which she lost all strength and could only weakly reply, You! Let go of me! First! Let you go? How could I bear to? Ling Yan leered at her, before suddenly sticking out his tongue to slowly lick her ear as he whispered, don't tell me you can bear to let me go. Zhou Yanzu trembled and melted into his embrace. She suddenly felt as though she did not even have the strength to breathe, her pupils dilated as she moaned, How? How could I bear to do so? Ah! She let out a soft yelp as Ling Tian nipped at her earlobe with his teeth, putting it in his mouth and using his tongue to tease it. His hands began to perform a pincer attack each slipping under her skirt and collar respectively, occupying the mountains and valleys, wantonly kneading them. Because Zhou Yanzu had just finished her bath, her robes were rather loosely tied around her body, allowing Ling Tian unimpeded access to roam around and attack. Zhou Yanzu only felt Ling Tian's hands playing hanky-panky all around her body, and her pure and untouched maiden body was trembling non-stop under his assault. Her face flushed red as though it was burning up, and her body lay weakly like putty on him, her eyes giving off a drunken look even as soft moans escaped her mouth. Ling Tian suddenly whispered in a low voice, Look! Mustering all the strength in her body, Zhou Yanzu looked down, only to see Ling Tian's hands unknowingly having swum inside her robes, parting them as each of his hands held on to a white jade bunny firmly. From the robes that were still covering those parts, one could see it continuously changing shape as his hands kneaded them like dough. Don't. Want to see. Zhou Yanzu put up a token resistance, but it was to no avail, and she could only resort to squeezing her eyes shut to the embarrassing truth in front of her, both her hands gripping tightly on top of Lin Tian's to prevent him from moving around. However, Feeling the heat being transmitted from his large hands to her jade globes, she felt as though her body was about to float away into paradise. Ling Tian's mouth slowly trailed down from her ear, following the curves of her face to her slender neck. He then trailed back up, finally latching on her cherry red lips, drawing them into his mouth. Upon receiving the brunt of the attack, Zhou Yanzu exclaimed in surprise but was taken advantage of by Ling Tian to stick his tongue into her mouth, lawlessly playing with her tongue. Zhou Yanzu let out a surprised moan, suddenly feeling as though her emotions were set on fire. Ling Tian seemed to have dragged out the most primitive desires hidden inside her, and suddenly she stretched out a jade arm, tightly clasping on his neck as she squeezed her eyes shut allowing Ling Tian to violate as he wished. Their lips parted. Ling Tian gazed at the dreamy-eyed Zhou Yanzu who was gasping for breath, pulling her into his embrace as he whispered in her ear, In the future, are you going to let me see? Zhou Yanzu was still hyperventilating, her brain in a mess. 
before the sentence could register, she had already subconsciously nodded her head. Chapter 510, Miraculous Jade Bendant Ling Tian revealed a satisfied smile and suddenly applied some pressure towards her other hand still clasped in front of her chest. The next moment, his offending hand had already followed the curves of her body to slip down south, ultimately landing on her soft and pert buttocks. As he applied some force in kneading, he grinned evilly, How do you want me to look at you? What do you mean? How to look? Zhou Yanzu was lost in dreamland, her brain already unable to process any rational thoughts. She was originally an innocent little girl who had not experienced any matters in this area, and to be mercilessly teased by Ling Tian in this way, all that was left in her mind was simply to fulfill all the desires of this person asking. There were no other thoughts that could be formed in her head. Ling Tian took the chance to strike while the iron was hot. Blowing a stream of warm air into her ear, Zhou Yanzu felt her entire body shiver, her legs immediately tensing up while her supple waist trickled within Ling Tian's embrace like a sinuous snake, inciting the desires of all who saw. She then heard Ling Tian whisper into her ear once again, How would you want to let me look? Unable to resist Ling Tian's teasing, she incoherently sputtered out in the midst of her moans, You! You can look however you wish to look. Lowering his head, Ling Tian suddenly clasped his mouth onto one of her supple mounds, speaking in a muffled voice, I would like to see you. With your clothes off. Zhou Yanzu let out a shrill cry, as her body stiffened. Shortly after that, she threw herself to Ling Tian, hugging him tightly and biting onto his shoulder as she panted, Up! Up to you! As the two of them tumbled around, Looking as though the deed could be done at any moment, there was a putong sound as they fell into the river. Unbeknownst to them, they had rolled to the riverbank and fell into the river together. With the shocking cold of the mountain spring water, Zhou Yanzu was immediately woken from her reverie. Upon recalling her previous shameful actions, she screamed and immediately pushed away from Ling Tian's embrace, jumping out of the water like lightning and jumping straight into the tent refusing to show her face. Having had his fantasy rejected, Ling Tian ruthlessly smacked the surface of the water, cursing with clenched teeth, darn mountain spring. Darn pond. He let out a long breath, feeling extremely depressed. Looking at his clothes, wet for the third time today, Ling Tian could only let out a bitter laugh, reluctantly casting his eyes towards the tent flap in the distance before sighing. Having been seek blocked, he could only helplessly draw out the heaven's heart jade in his bosom to scrutinize. Looking at it, he was unknowingly reminded of Yu Bingyan and Ling Chen. If only they were here. How good would it be? At least they would be able to comfort this young master, who had been suppressed non-stop for the past few days. The corners of Ling Tian's mouth curled into a hint of a smile. Before this, he had not accepted Zhou Yanzu, and thus was not moved by her flirting or actions, controlling his desires and thoughts. However, after he was injured, upon knowing how Zhou Yanzu had taken care of him despite him being incapacitated, his heartstrings were unknowingly tugged at. Since the heartstrings had already been plucked, for them to soothe back now was a truly difficult task. However, why did he have to do so? Ling Tian was deeply aware of how bad his wounds actually were when he sank into unconsciousness. This was added on to the fact that he was filthy from rolling on the mud after he landed back on the ground. Furthermore, there were also impurities which had been purged out from his meridians, and they were unbearably disgusting. However, Zhou Yanzu did not even think twice, choosing to care for his wounds without the slightest shred of hesitation. Furthermore, in order to lessen his pain to the minimum, she had chosen to use her own mouth, slowly clearing off all the dirt and filth on his body, then applying the medicine. This whole process had taken her more than four hours. The adorable her never knew that Ling Tian's body had already been diagnosed and treated by justice, and the remaining injuries, while terrifying, were actually superficial wounds not capable of lasting harm to him. However, it could have been that his superficial wounds were too frightening, 
resulting in Zhou Yanzu taking action. Ling Tian had even gone to the trouble of counting while he was unconscious, the number of times Zhou Yanzu could not bear the filth and vomited, but each time she still doggedly returned to continue her task. Such patience, such tenderness. There was no thought of giving up coming from her. Just how many women in the whole wide world would be able to carry out such a task for their loved ones? Maybe Ling Chen would have done it, but other than her and a sparse few others, who would still be willing to do so? Ling Tian had even asked himself honestly, when faced with this sort of woman with this sort of deep love for him, could he actually be so heartless as to forsake her? If he did so, then Zhou Yanzu would be destroyed emotionally and mentally. Could it be that he, Ling Tian, with the ambition to be above the heavens, would actually stumble and fail to protect a lady that loved him so? If it was about family feuds, then what about Yu Bing Yan? Wasn't he enemies with her entire family? Was there any difference now? Was it just because she wanted to annul the betrothal when they were five years old? At that time, she was just a little lass who was unaware of anything. Furthermore, wasn't that whole operation part of his manipulation from the start? So long as there was the prerequisite that he would accept her and that she had affirmed her feelings for him, then Zhou Yanzu would no longer be the little princess of the Zhou family but rather another identity, that of Ling Tian's woman. As for the Zhou family, what else could they do? Could it be that Ling Tian himself could not even give his woman the minimum for her happiness? As such, Ling Tian had come to this conclusion and did not bother to be so guarded around Zhou Yanzu anymore. This was because, within his eyes, she was already considered his woman, someone whom he approved of wholeheartedly. A thousand reasons, ten thousand excuses, all of them were not important. The previous one sentence was enough to explain everything. As such, Ling Tian was clear in his conscience. Thinking up to this point, Ling Tian suddenly felt immensely carefree. What has the muddled and confused world got to do with me? So long as my heart is stable and anchored, let the waves come towards me. With unrestrained laughter, Ling Tian plunged into the mountain spring, sinking down as he activated his cultivation, simulating the internal breathing of the Xian Tian realm. Nestled at the bottom of the creek, his entire bearing let out a contented aura. With a flip of his hand, the heaven's heart jade from Yu Bing Yan was brought in front of his eyes. In the bottom of the creek, with the rays of light shining down from above, Ling Tian suddenly discovered that his surroundings had taken on a hue similar to that of the jade pendant in his hands. It was as though the water had become crystalline and pure without flaws, just like jade itself. It was truly deserving of its name as the Heaven's Heart Jade. What a mystical treasure jade this was! Ling Tian had once heard the saying that for the highest grade of jades, they would turn the bowl of water the same color if submerged and if light was shown on it. However, this small piece of jade could actually turn more than 10 feet of its surroundings into a jade-like color? How many bowls of water was that? Such a piece of jade! Could it really be the legendary Jade Heart, only found in the depths of water after tens of thousands of years? Ling Tian secretly exclaimed to himself, what a priceless treasure. He began to feel the heartache overshadowing the other piece of Jade. Suddenly, he sensed the sunlight on top of him fading, and looked up to see two tiny black dots situated in the middle of the Heaven's Heart Jade. However, they did nothing to impair the flawless beauty of the Jade. Upon bringing the jade closer to him, Ling Tian found out that surprisingly, the two black dots would disappear. However, placing it further away from him, the dots would mysteriously reappear. Could it be that this was the heaven-shaking secret behind the jades? The reason why the Yu and the Shui family waged their millennium-long war? Ling Tian's expression grew grave as he started to ponder furiously. After a long while, he finally clenched his teeth and decided to test it out. No matter how precious a treasure was, if it did not serve a purpose, it was no better than just a mere plaything. Ling Tian brought the jade to the crown of his head, and revolving his internal energy, sent a needle-like strand to infuse slowly into the jade. 
Surprisingly, the moment the energy touched the surface of the jade, it was sucked in without obstruction by the jade itself, as though a thirsty traveler in the desert might do when he saw water. The jade itself remained warm to the touch, unchanged, without any signs of shattering. With this encouragement, Ling Tian began to increase his output, first by two times, then double, and double again. The entire jade pendant began to release rays of light underwater, turning more than 30 to 40 feet of the pool into an emerald green color, the color of the jade. Furthermore, this color seemed to be on the verge of increasing in density. Ling Tian's eyes were trained directly on the jade, as his fingers that were clasped onto it continuously fed energy to it. The brilliance of the jade pendant grew ever brighter, to the point that even gazing at it brought pain to one's eyes. He could finally observe, that within the central location of the jade, the two hexagonal shaped black dots were actually slowly moving, as though trying to meet each other. Their speed was agonizingly slow, to the point that if one did not open their eyes wide and stare, they would have missed out on this tiny action done by them. However, one of the black dots gave him a sense of deja vu. Ling Tian snapped out of his reverie, realizing that one of the black dots was, in fact, the exact same one that flew out when he had shattered the jade pendant belonging to the Shui family. It was no wonder that he could not find it, for it had already burrowed into this jade. The only question he had unanswered was about how could this dot actually burrow its way into the jade, without leaving any flaws of any sort? Was this not too strange and magical? By now, Ling Tian had already spent an hour sitting inside the Greek, infusing his internal energy into the jade. Sixty whole minutes. No matter how deep and profound Ling Tian's internal energy was, he was beginning to be unable to withstand this drain. However, he did not dare to let go, nor did he dare to go out. Who knew if the jade would only showcase such a scene during certain special circumstances? If he floated back up, and the jade regained its original self, then would it not be a waste of his efforts? This was in the best case scenario. What would happen if this was a serendipitous chance, that would not happen anymore even if he tried? As such, Ling Tian could only grin and bear it. Time slowly slipped by, and the two black dots began to shift ever so close to each other. The expenditure of Ling Tian's internal energy naturally increased, and the color of the jade deepened without end, already dyeing the entire waters around it in a deep emerald green. Without any wind or movement inside the water, it resembled a flawless jade from afar, refracting off rays of light when the sun shone down on it. What an imposing spectacle! Chapter 511, Thousand Year Mystery Zhou Yan Zhu hid in the tent in embarrassment and was waiting for Ling Tian to come in to comfort her. However, she never expected that after waiting for a long time, Ling Tian was still nowhere to be seen. She could not help but be filled with anxiousness as she cursed in her heart, unromantic pig head. Darn pig head. Stinky lecher. Idiotic Ling Tian. Why don't you understand the thoughts of a lady? See if this lady here will still bother about you in the future. Just when she was stomping her feet and cursing Ling Tian, she suddenly felt the color of the sunlight shining into her tent changing color and her surroundings turning cold. She could not help but raise her head in shock and realize that the sunlight had turned into a jade green color. She was completely astounded and could not be bothered about the embarrassment she felt and rushed out of the tent. At this moment, the little pond that she and Ling Tian previously fell into had been completely transformed. The originally clear spring water had turned dark green like it was a gigantic piece of jade. In fact, the surrounding forest had also turned dark green in color and the sun's rays that were reflected from the forest had also turned green. At this moment, Zhou Yan Zhu felt as though she was in a dreamlike realm and everything around her felt completely unreal. Being unable to find Ling Tian, Zhou Yan Zhu grew anxious and looked at the empty mountains around her, unable to find another person besides herself. With the strange scene in front of her, Zhou Yan Zhu suddenly felt an unknown sense of fear as her heart began thumping rapidly. At the same time, 
Tears began welling up in her eyes and she was about to burst out wailing again. As she took a look at the jade green pond, Zhou Yanzu realized that there seemed to be a figure lying in the pond and almost shouted out in surprise. Upon taking a careful look, she realized that the person in the pond was Ling Tian. The shock which she felt was not to be underestimated. Could it be that something untoward happened to him as a result of falling into the pond before his injuries were recovered? Zhou Yanzu burned with anxiety and was about to immediately jump right into the pond. Right at this moment, Zhou Yanzu saw that Ling Tian's arm was raised in the pond as though he was holding on to something and studying it carefully. At the same time, Ling Tian's eyes were also opened with his eyeballs starting around. At the same time, the unknown object in Ling Tian's hand was also glowing with a brilliant green splendor. Zhou Yanzu immediately understood that this strange scene in front of her was a result of Ling Tian and heaved a sigh of relief. Zhou Yanzu knew that Ling Tian was definitely doing something important at the moment, and as a reasonable lady, she would naturally not disturb him at this moment. Thus, she sat down by the pool instead and with a change in mental state. She suddenly felt the previously eerie scene in front of her to be incredibly enchanting instead. A mesmerizing smile surfaced on her lips as she hugged her knees and admired the beautiful scenery in front of her. Thinking about how this amazing scene was created by her beloved man and that she was the only one here to witness it, her heart was immediately overwhelmed with sweetness. From time to time, she would turn her head to look at Ling Tian with a smile full of bliss. Ling Tian, who was underwater, was trying his best to hang in there. While he still had plenty of energy left over, he was running out of breath. After holding his breath in for a long time, Ling Tian's face was already turning red. After all, even Ling Tian did not imagine that investigating a piece of jade pendant would take such a long time. Despite it just being a short moment, Ling Tian felt as though a full year had passed. Finally, the two hexagonal black dots from the jade pendants gradually combined together. At the moment both the black dots merged together successfully, an intense whirlpool was gathered at the jade pendant and the jade pendant flashed with a brilliant splendor for a single instant before the two black dots disappeared completely. Replacing the two black dots instead was the shape of a long sword. It was slender and narrow, and was the exact mini replica of the heaven splitter. Following that, a few rows of words began appearing below the body of the sword. The stroke of the words was thin like hair and each word was only the size of a sesame seed. It seems that the thousand-year-old mystery will be solved at this moment. Ling Tian suppressed the agitation in his heart and the discomfort in his body. Keeping his eyes wide open, he refused to let go of any word. A short 16 words written in two rows entered Ling Tian's mind, vacant in the east, heaven and earth essence, sharpness of heaven splitter, it can be fought. Ling Tian muttered these 16 words under his breath over and over again and felt completely confused. Before he could have an idea of what those words meant, he felt the jade pendant in his hands explode silently as though it had melted into the spring water and disappeared without a trace. The spring water which was dark green to the point it was almost black had suddenly regained its clarity. It was as though nothing had happened in the first place at all. Ling Tian could not help but be dumbfounded. At the same time, the 16 words were imprinted deeply in his mind and he would never forget them. Just when Zhou Yanzu was admiring the beautiful scenery in front of her, the scenery suddenly disappeared and she could not help but be startled. Before she had the chance to turn around, she heard a splashing sound from the pond behind her and Ling Tian dashed out from the pool to a full 50 feet above the water. Following that, he landed beside Zhou Yanzu and began panting heavily. However, not a single sign of fatigue could be seen in his face. Just what was going on? However, the wise Zhou Yanzu had always known that she should not interfere in the affairs of men and would thus not take the initiative to ask. She would only give Ling Tian care and concern at the appropriate time and it was the best way to show support for him. 
Ling Tian looked at the pond water in a daze and rubbed his right finger with his thumb with an indescribable feeling in his heart. The originally solid jade pendant that was in his hand just a while ago and absorbing his inner chi had suddenly exploded. Er, no. It didn't explode but melted in his hand instead. Perhaps it wouldn't be accurate to say that it melted either. It was as though it was a snowball being thrown into a hot furnace, disappearing into nothingness in just an instant without a drop of water being left behind. The instant before it disappeared, Ling Tian could clearly feel his fingers trembling slightly. Ling Tian originally thought that this mysterious event had evolved and the jade pendant had melted into his body. But after thinking about it carefully, that was definitely not the case. Just what was going on with the jade pendant? Why did it not react to anyone else's inner chi but react to mine? Just what was that black dot? What is with the words inside the jade pendant? Was it engraved by someone? Isn't this whole incident just too puzzling? Is this the thousand-year-old mystery? Ling Tian shook his head violently. Even with the technology of his previous life, it was impossible to perform such a feat. Engraving words within a jade pendant without damaging the body of the jade. Furthermore, the words even disappeared after being engraved without a single trace being left behind. On top of that, both the jade pendants had reacted like they were a pair of lovers. It was just too mystical. All of a sudden, Ling Tian's eyes widened, could it be? To be able to perform what humans are unable to do so. A celestial? Ling Tian shook his head with a self-mocking smile. How could it be possible? This world does not even have a temple or any celestial legends. Even the level of martial arts in this world was far from the level of martial arts in his previous life. If there were celestials in this world, how could there be no legends about them? You have to know, even celestials had to be human once and they would naturally not be willing to stay lonely. Ling Tian suddenly began laughing at his own thoughts. Since he could not figure out an answer, he decided to not think about it anymore. Very quickly, Ling Tian's attention was drawn to the 16 words in the jade pendant again. The first thing Ling Tian felt when seeing the words was that those words were completely irrelevant to ruling over the world but describing a treasure chest instead. Vacant in the east probably described the Mount Vacant sky in the east of Heavenly Star. But what did heaven and earth essence mean? The essence energy of heaven and earth? If that was the case, could it mean that there was a treasure which contained the essence energy of the heaven and earth in Mount Vacant sky? However, sharpness of heaven splitter, it can be thought was completely irrelevant to that. Just what was kind of a special meaning was there behind describing the sharpness of a sword? From whatever which had just happened, it was obvious that there was a huge relationship between the two heavens heart jades and the heaven splitter. It was as though there was an inseparable relationship between the three items. With a flick of his wrist, the heaven splitter was unsheathed from its sheath and the body of the sword shone brightly, reflecting the clear spring water. The sword lay silently in Ling Tian's hand and Ling Tian observed it silently with a smile. Brother, are you feeling lonely? Don't worry, you can follow me from today on. The only reason why a treasured sword can be called a treasured sword is because it requires endless slaughter and pools of blood to nurture. After being hidden for so many years, you must be unwilling to stay silent any further. Being in Justice's hands, you are completely useless with his unparalleled martial arts and you must be thirsty for action. The Heaven Splitter suddenly began glowing brightly but yet silently. It was as though the Heaven Splitter was a lonely king proudly facing the world, desolate and unyielding. Ling Tian laughed out loud and crazily imbued his inner chi into the body of the sword. With a loud keening sound, the body of the sword lit up and a bloody fishy smell of slaughter filled the place. A sharp sword chi shot towards the heavens with killing intent shooting out in all directions. The clouds in the surrounding dispersed in all directions as though a slumbering demon dragon had escaped from depths of the ravine. Facing the boundless wilderness, vast mountains and millions of living beings, the demonic dragon revealed its malevolent teeth. Good sword. Good partner. 
Ling Tian praised, ambition to will the heavens, sword to split the heavens. The both of us are a match made in heaven. Ha ha ha. Yu Yu Yu. Zhou Yanzu was dazzled by her beloved's man heroic disposition and could not help but be intoxicated. At the same time, she realized that Ling Tian's scabs began breaking off like a turtle shell and began dropping onto the ground. Ling Yan's smooth and clean arm was then revealed as though it was never injured before. Zhou Yan Zhu's eyes almost bulged out as she speechlessly pointed at Ling Tian. Chapter 512, Sword Offering Ling Tian followed Zhou Yan Zhu's gaze and even with his outstanding mental strength, he could not help but be dumbfounded. The scab falling from Ling Yan's arm was as though it was a layer of extremely dry soil cracking up and it actually dropped off from Ling Tian's body without needing Ling Tian to do anything. At the same time, Ling Tian felt his body beginning to itch all over. Looking at Zhou Yan Zhu, Ling Tian smiled sneakily and with a shua sound, he stripped down naked leaving behind a pair of shorts, displaying his wonderful figure in front of the young maiden in front of him. Zhou Yan Zhu let out a gasp and was embarrassed to the point her face flushed red, You! Why are you so shameless? Just when she was about to cover her eyes, she suddenly let out a gasp of incredulity. She stared at Ling Tian's naked body and stammered, This! This! Just what is going on? You! You have actually recovered fully? In the eyes of this kind lady, the recovery of Ling Tian's injuries was far more important than her shyness or apprehensions. As long as her beloved man's injuries could recover, it wouldn't matter if he was wearing less. In any case, she had already seen and even touched all of him. Ling Tian was like a snake shedding its skin, with his old layer of skin peeling and falling off his body and the new layer smooth and soft. Any lady who saw his soft and silky skin would definitely be extremely envious. As Ling Tian circulated his inner chi, the scabs and dry skin on his body fell off quicker and quicker. It was as though Ling Tian had previously fallen into a puddle of mud and was completely drenched in mud but had all of the mud flaking off his body at this moment. With a final jerk of his body, all the remaining scabs fell off without a single bit left on his body. In just a single breath, Ling Tian's body was like a smooth rock and not a synth scar could be seen. Zhou Yan Zhu's mouth was wide opened with shock and as she thought about a story that her grandfather told her, she began stuttering, strip. Strip. Ling Tian was stunned for a moment. Just what does this lass mean? She actually wants me to continue stripping? But I am wearing nothing but my pants at this moment. If I continue stripping, wouldn't it mean that? But since a beauty asked me to take it off, it would be inexcusable for me to not comply. Since she has already seen it before, seeing it once more wouldn't matter. I have to fulfill the request of the crowd. As such, young noble Ling pulled down his pants without hesitation. At this moment, Zhou Yan Zhu finally composed herself from her previous shock and finished her incomplete sentence, stripping off the old to achieve a miraculous change. After Zhou Yan Zhu's words left her mouth, the last piece of Ling Tian's clothes also left his body and little young noble Ling stood up proudly in front of Zhou Yan Zhu. After being restrained for so many days, little young noble Ling was naturally extremely robust. You! Go and die! Who asked you to take that off? You are just too despicable! Zhou Yan Zhu covered her face in embarrassment, darn scoundrel! Darn batty! Darn lecher! Knowing that he had misunderstood Zhou Yan Zhu, Ling Tian attempted to quibble, I wasn't willing to strip down naked but you were the one who asked me to strip. But right after I stripped, you are acting in such a manner. Sigh, women are truly unreasonable creatures. I asked you to strip? I am going to ask you to die right now. Why aren't you going to die? Zhou Yan Zhu sent a flying kick towards Ling Tian's butt and sent the naked Ling Tian right into the pond with a loud splashing sound. She then stomped her feet angrily and dashed back to the tent. In the entire world, 
Michaud was probably the only person capable of sending Ling Tian flying with a single kick. Even Justice would probably be incapable of performing such a feat. Ling Tian supported himself up in the water and wiped off the water on his face with a depressed feeling. Women are truly incomprehensible creatures. All of a sudden, Ling Tian's expression turned serious and he jumped out of the pond, dashing into the tent like a gust of wind. Amidst Zhou Yan Zhu's embarrassed shrieks, Ling Tian quickly fished for his clothes and put them on swiftly. He could clearly hear that there were countless troops surrounding him from all directions. It was as though the whole mountain had already been surrounded by troops. Why are all of these men here? Could they have found my whereabouts? However, this place is extremely well concealed and apart from justice, there shouldn't be anyone in the world capable of locating me with such accuracy. Even Justice would only be able to locate me if he uses his heavenly vision, boundless hearing skill. If I have the intention of concealing myself, I believe that even Justice wouldn't be able to find me. Why are these men here? As Ling Tian put on his clothes, he went through all the different possibilities in his head. All of a sudden, he came to a realization. It must have been because of the strange glow that was given out by the Jade Pendant. It dyed the pond into a jade green color and under the reflection of the sun, a mystical scene must have been formed and many of them were probably drawn here by that. It was definitely comparable to the abnormal phenomenon of a treasure being born in the world and together with the sword chi of the heaven splitter shooting towards the sky, it wouldn't be surprising for so many people to have been attracted. It seems that there must be a few unlucky souls who are gathered here in search of a treasure. It wouldn't matter if they are ordinary individuals but if they are enemies. I will have to apologize to them. Facing the baleful Ling Tian, it can be said that they were only walking into their own demise. With the two of them presently being in the Eastern Zhou territory, it wouldn't be surprising for the incoming men to be from the Eastern Zhou army. After all, they were less than a hundred miles from the capital of Eastern Zhou, the Eastern Sun City. According to Ling Tian's intelligence, ever since Dong Feng Jing Lei returned to Eastern Zhou, he should have been lingering around in this area. He did not exit the Eastern Zhou territory and enter the Zhou family's territory, or return to his home. He was like a floating ghost, floating around the wilderness without a place to take root. Only Ling Tian knew that Dong Feng Jing Lei was actually waiting for him and the promise which he gave to Dong Feng Jing Lei. It seems that Ling 22 had already delivered his word to Dong Fang Jing Lei. Thus, Ling Tian's motive for appearing here was actually for the Dong Fang family. A sharp killing intent flashed past Ling Tian's eyes. From the movements in the surroundings, Ling Tian was able to deduce that the people surrounding the mountain were extremely well organized and densely gathered. They were surrounding the mountain densely to prevent anyone or anything from escaping the mountain. If they had only approached Ling Tian from a single direction, it would suggest that they were only curious individuals. But by surrounding Ling Tian from all directions, it showed their intense desire to possess the treasure in the mountain. At the same time, their killing intent was unconcealed. They only had a single motive, a treasure was born and they wanted to possess it. Regardless of whether or not the treasure had an owner or anyone who saw and knew about it, they would definitely be within these premises. Thus, the Dongfeng army would approach in such a manner with the intention of killing everyone on this mountain to snatch the treasure and prevent news of it from spreading out. Thus, Ling Tian was enraged. Even if he knew that the treasure was no longer present or rather that it had never existed and that these men would only return empty-handed. Their current actions were no different from being a joke. However, Ling Tian did not want to turn them into jokes, he wanted to turn them into corpses. The only thing that these men deserved was death. This was because they treated their own personal gains far above the lives of everyone else. How would Ling Tian be able to let off these men who viewed life as dirt? Feeling the dense killing intent flowing out of Ling Tian's body, Zhou Yan Zhu could not help but ask, what's the matter? Did something happen? Ling Tian smiled in an expressionless manner. 
nothing's wrong. There are some people who are here to offer themselves to my sword. Their timing is perfect? That's right, just when the Heaven Splitter landed in Ling Tian's hands, these men had gathered over before Ling Tian had a chance to even use it. It was akin to giving Ling Yan a chance to have a red and prosperous beginning with his sword. Offer themselves to your sword? Zhou Yanzu was puzzled. Before she could react to what Ling Tian had said, Ling Tian covered his face with a mask and disappeared from the tent leaving behind a single phrase, hide yourself well and don't let anyone find you. Ling Yan's figure drifted tens of feet out and watched dozens of men approaching him. He could even hear someone mumbling, strange, we should be approaching the treasure already but why did it suddenly disappear? Could it be that the treasure can only be seen by the fated one? Just continue walking forward. We should be near and there shouldn't be any mistakes, another voice sounded. The crown prince has instructed us to kill anyone we see. Fated individual? Ha! The fated individual would only become a dead individual. However, there doesn't seem to be anyone around here. If there isn't the so-called fated individual, won't our lives be easier? Ha ha! Crown prince? Could it be the Eastern Zhou Crown Prince, Dong Feng Sheng Chen? Ling Tian was immediately energized. He originally thought that he would only be fishing for some small shrimps or fishes but never expected it to be a huge fish. Perhaps he should make some adjustments to his plan. Ling Tian began to think about just what he should do to obtain the greatest benefits. Look, there is a tent over there. Let's go and take a look and we may find something. On the other side, a sound of surprise could be heard. A glow flashed past Ling Tian's eyes and the Heaven Splitter left its sheath without a single sound. With an illusory and indistinct carefree motion it followed Ling Tian's figure. At the same time, seven men clutched onto their necks that were already spewing out blood. They collapsed onto the ground with multiple soft thuds. A dense bloody smell swiftly spread across the place. Thank you for your continued following. Please support us by subscribe to encourage our continued creation. And press the bell to notify new chapter from us. Thank you.